think this is my favourite one so oh, yeah. far. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How easy is the sound being set up? Like, is it pretty straightforward? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the, each of these switches is indeed wireless and like I say, you can connect other switches to it that has an on-off switch here. Okay. Um, so they just need to be switched on and once they're on, they'll communicate with this wirelessly. The beams at the moment are connected to the back of the device here. Uh, there's, there's space for four beams. Yep. This is power. Yep. That's my HDMI cable, which is going off to, to a projector or to a television or okay. to a monitor if you want to display images. Uh, and there's two outputs and two inputs. So there's an input for a microphone or a line in to make your own recordings, should you wish to. Yep. And there are also outputs going off to, to your speakers, your PA, your headphones or whatever okay. you want to hear the audio through. So it's pretty simple to, to, and it's self-contained, you know. Everything's unlike earlier versions. You don't need a, an external synthesizer or a keyboard or a sampler, or a mixing desk, it's all in there. So do you literally switch it on? Just literally switch it on. Okay, and yeah. it just loads up? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Technology can be over, made over complicated and I think simplifying it down enables a wider range of some music leaders, carers, teachers and people to access the technology rather than actually being afraid of it which then allows for greater uh, musical opportunities to happen because um, no, technology doesn't need to be made over complicated these days. It can be quite simple and you can get huge results from it. The Mandarin page, I really enjoyed the sound for and I found that really engaged me as a person but I also think there's a use for any type of sound um, because it, it's, sound is such a personal thing and different types of sounds engage different people and I'm also quite up for sounds crossing each other in a way that some traditional musicians may not. I think it can make quite exciting new varieties of music and yeah, personalise it really nicely. So can anyone programme it themselves? Absolutely. You can put your own series of notes in there or chords or they can use the switches to trigger backings or drum loops. And can you record a piece you play and save it onto a switch to then play later? Yep. So I think this version of Soundbeam is much more user-friendly. Uh, it's accessible to a wider audience, people who can't necessarily read, but icons are great for them. Uh, people who may not be completely attracted to just music, but they may be attracted to film and music or just film, which then enables two different aspects of playing. Um, and it can also lead into um, arts awards, ASDAN, all those other qualifications within one um, piece of equipment by having the, the film and the music together. I've got the chord sequence here. And I think we've got the yeah. violin perhaps and the cello and there's some other uh, musical elements with film assigned here. Okay. Should we try that? Yeah. long piece of footage and there's a few variety of short short pieces of footage yeah this is a piece we call english fields yeah uh, hence the, the the you know the, the drone footage yeah uh and yeah and then there, you can that can be embellished with the different individual animals here
I've really enjoyed exploring the sound beam and trying out the different aspects of it and the switches and the touch screen and just seeing how it all links together. It's been, it's been good fun.